Hello everyone, I hope you are having a wonderful time. Today I would like to share my experience of using these two different amplifiers back to back here in my system using this JBL100 Classic 75th and Pioneer TED S1 EX tower speakers and my Sony HAB Z1 ES as well as Denon DP47 with Denon DL301 Mark II MC phono cartridge that I've been using. Arcuface has optional AD50 so which is additional a thousand US dollar add-on component but they don't come with CR type phono stage from the factory but advantages to Arcuface is it has AAVA volume control knob very nice free stage very good input control as well as ANCC noise control circuitry that they implemented over previous generation which is E480. So when I was choosing, when I tried to find my next integrated amplifier a few years back, I tried a lot of different amps including many Luxman, Macintosh and Pass and everything. Then in the end, it, you know, it came down to this either this Denon PMA S611 or Arcuface E480. But I choose this Denon PMA S611 over Arcuface E480 back then because of it comes with built-in uh, phono stage. Another big deciding factor is big difference in price point. So E480 and S611, I try them back to back. I was shocked by how close in terms of driving power and bass control, aside from a little bit better refinement and more refined high frequency extension from Arcuface E480, as well as E480 offer slightly clearer sound signature in overall sound reproduction. Then no, it's slightly warmer and a little bit of richer side of tonal balance. If you don't play really loud, that's, this Dano is always keep you in class A stage. Please keep in mind, it operation temperature is pretty warm as well, so it can get pretty hot in the summer, so you want to keep it at the well-ventilated area. But the, in the other hand, Arcuface has a class AB design which operates very cool. It's just a slight warm, warmness on top of the panel, so that's about it. Now, I have chance to try them back to back with newer replacement or E480, which is Arcuface E4000. Since you already know all the obvious like price differences and everything, so I will not be mentioning that. Denon PMA SX11 uses the uh, single push-pull design. Arcuface E4000 uses the uh, quad uh, push-pull design. This Denon has the uh, sand-casted aluminum toroidal housing with epoxy fill Enclosure Arcuface has the metal housing with totally sealed off as well to reduce the noise. But when it comes to capacitors, the Arcuface has the 40,000 capacitors on each side. So total 80,000 capacitors, they not only have 20,000 capacitors. Overall design theory and different design that they feature in these kind of circuitry. So Arcuface put out more power 2 to 3 dB louder. That's where the uh, laws of uh, diminishing return totally shows. If you spend double the price, doesn't really give you uh, double the performance out of these kind of components. Overall build quality, I like both of them. I'm totally big fan of very simple, minimalistic design of this Denon PMA S611. It has dedicated phono stage with dedicated power supply, good enough power to drive any speakers efficiently. But if you go up to Arcuface E4000, it can also totally shows you driving power as well as giving you more refined sound signature, especially in bass control, definition, and micro detail is very obvious, totally shows it in lower region. Mid-range, Deno is slightly more forward. Arcuface is pretty neutral, yet very well refined with incredible clarity and really nice mid-range that I can enjoy listening to 
hours and hours of music, either of the speaker, JBL or this Pioneer TED. I can listen to them very long time without getting fatigued. So that is another major selling point of E4000, right? E4000 totally shows the ability of controlling these base drivers over SX11. It doesn't mean SX11 cannot drive these speakers. E4000 totally shows the grip and control. That's where the difference is in power and damping factor and power supply and everything combined. That's where you get better sound quality out of going up on this kind of high-end integrated amplifier. So this Deno PMA SX11, what is good is it has built-in phono stage, nice and warmish tonal balance with dynamic and vivid sound signature. That's the, uh, the major selling point. So in the right pairing with other components, this Deno PMA SX11 will give you countless hours of enjoying your music. But Arcuface E4000, I don't really like the way they sound with the warmish sounding speakers because it gets a little bit boring over time. But if you have really dynamic speaker like this JBA L100 Classic or really accurate neutral speaker like Pioneer TED S1EX, they are incredible. They will give you really good sound reproduction, right? Oh, by the way, pairing components and any components that I use in this review or sound sample, everything is listed in video description. I will not be going through it. Even all the cables are included in there, what I use. And when I try them back to back using phono stage, using Deno DL301MC cartridge, this Arcuface impedance set to 100 ohm, Deno is factory standard CR type phono stage that they included. When I listen to my music, what I find is Arcuface totally shows the uh, different level of uh, micro detail, separation, airiness, and space between the notes, and best of all, total refinement and bass control. That's the uh, major difference in sound reproduction. For the gain control, I have to go up a little over 9 o'clock position on this SX11 to get there. Occuface about 9 o'clock position, like 45 dB on the meter right here. So that's where the difference is in terms of power and loudness wise. But in terms of a sound quality, this SX11 also give you very good micro detail and resolution and giving you very good bass control as well. But sound stage is a little bit less separation between the notes. High frequencies are slightly less area. So that's where the differences are. It can also reveal imperfections in the recording. If it's a, a little bit of brighter recording, it will totally shows it. So that's what Deno PMA SX11 will do. Arcuface, in the other hand, you can notice the uh, this area is the a bit brighter side of the music, but it will contain and control. So it doesn't introduce a harshness or fatigue when you listen into long hour, whether you're using the phono stage or your re regular amplifier stage. So it doesn't matter. I mean, they both can be great buy depending on your price budget, right? If you are shopping for under $5,000 price range, this Deno PMA SX11 is a great buy. If you are willing to go up on the price, this Arcuface E4000 is incredible buy in my opinion. Personally, I can live with either of these amplifiers. Since I can choose one, I would rather be listening to Arcuface E4000 than the Adeno PMA SX11 as of right now because I'm really into total refinement nowadays than the live-like music sound reproduction, right? It doesn't mean they're giving you like unnecessarily laid back and relaxed sounding. It still have a very dynamic sounding. What I mean by that is in long hours, it can make different in that kind of listening section. Arcuface E4000 totally shows in refinement, control, especially 
sound staging, three dimensional sound stage is more precise as well as those layerings upon layerings that it can produce. E4000 is 800 plus damping factor. PMA SX11 has a 600 plus damping factor as well. So those are the important uh, specs that I want you to aware of it. Other than the power rating, the damping factor is very important to me. I don't know about other people because damping factor can really differentiate the sound quality. So my advice is if you are shopping for great amplifier around $5,000 price range, this SX11 is a great choice. But don't worry about the step-down transformer, right? Step-down transformer doesn't hurt sound quality, especially if you're going with SX11 because they don't make an international voltage. They only make in Japanese voltage. Arcuphase E4000, you can have uh, 100 volt, 120 volt, or 240 for 220 or 240 for European voltages. So they offer that, but not that this SX11. But if you go with SX11, don't worry about step down transformer. I use the uh, 3000 watts step down transformer, which is around under $150. So that can totally give you better sound quality, in my opinion, because you don't really need to have a regulator or anything, that transformer can totally give you cleaner AC current to your amplifier. What I like about Arcuphase remote control is each of the inputs has the uh, dedicated input selector buttons on the remote control, so you don't have to push through whatever the input that you want to go with on, like then on remote control. Another thing is Arcuphase does not have power on and off button on the remote control. Power on and off, you have to use the main power button on the amplifier. So that is my experience that I like to share with you. Thank you very much for watching and happy listening.
Let's go. 